Paralytical Radio is online. Welcome back to the Pyrolytical Radio Show. We've got a great topic for you. Stick with us on this one. This is more Utah-centric, but it has some uh, application to all politics. In that, political parties always want to maintain power and increase it if they can. So we've got the Count My Vote organization in Utah. You can go to countmyvote.org to see what they're all about. The link will be in the description below. We want you to understand them and not just go based on our opinion. But this is an organization that wants to fundamentally shift the way Utah politics works. Let's talk briefly about how the current caucus system works for those who are outside of Utah or in Utah and don't understand how the system yeah, works. Yeah, it's a little unique. Basically what happens is individuals in a neighborhood will go to what they call a caucus. It's, it's a group of neighbors in the neighborhood that show up together and say, hey, we want somebody to represent us. They'll select the people who will go to the state and county conventions for their respective parties so they can choose who will represent the party in the coming election. Yeah, who will be on the ballot that you, in the voting booth, you see Republican candidate, Democratic candidate, Constitution Party candidate, so on and so forth. So the caucus, which is a funny word, but it's just a meeting, is a group of locals who say, go represent us at the county and the state level. It's that simple. That's right. Now, how is that beneficial? Because the individuals who are then set as delegates are given the responsibility to personally interview every single candidate that's running for their party's nomination. The party elites and establishment, they actually care about what a delegate, what you think. When I was a state and county delegate for four years straight, bing, bing, bing. <laughs> I did my best to find the most constitutional, liberty-minded, principle-based candidate that I could find. Mike Lee was just one example. He was the best Senate candidate. I supported him. That was a huge, huge victory for those of us who want to see some real change. What's well, real funny that these establishment types, former Governor Mike Levitt, former Governor John Huntsman, former Senator Bob Bennett, you see former, the trend yeah. there? All of a sudden they're against the caucus system and I wonder why. There's a, a great article written by uh, former Utah Representative Fred Seacox. We'll have the link to his uh, description in his blog in the description below as well. He outlines a couple different points, and one of those main points is the fact that they really like this system when there were only about 10,000 people that would show up to their caucuses. You may show up to your caucus and there was only five or six people there, it was really easy to become a delegate. Now, there are more people than ever that are concerned about their government, and so they show up. And instead of 10,000, we've got 25,000, 50,000, 100,000 people showing up at their caucuses, which means that those individuals that are the most outspoken, and there's lots of them that are outspoken because of what's going on, end up as a delegate. Wait, I'm confused. More people are showing up to participate in the political process, but the whole premise of Count My Vote is we want more participation. <laughs> there is more! You just don't like the people like me who love the Constitution and liberty to show up. This is really important for us to understand because here in Utah, what we found was once Senator Bennett lost his seat, that all of a sudden Senator Hatch started showing up and visiting with the people more frequently. Do you think it's maybe worse or better for the people to have the, the representatives coming back and meeting with them, visiting with them, actually trying to do things to prove that they are worthy of their constituents' vote and time? No, we don't want any of that. Let's Here. summarize, count my vote, how it would fundamentally shift Utah's voting system is it would take us to a direct primary to choose the nominees for the election in November. Well, that sounds great. They say they want the casual voter to feel like he has a choice in the general election. Well, I want the casual voter to get so upset, so mad that she doesn't have a choice that they show up at their caucus meeting and become a delegate and help choose the next representative. Did you show up at your last caucus meeting? Why Where not? Were you? That's right. For them to say that it's too much of a burden to show up one night every two years for a couple of hours to determine how your state and federal government representation happens, then you are too apathetic to get a vote. It's actually fun. It's almost like a sporting event. There's politics going on, but it's a debate and you have to speak if you want to be a delegate. It's actually fun and I loved it and it was a good experience and I felt like I made a difference and you can make a difference too. So the fundamental of the Count My Vote movement is direct primary means the party establishment by the votes through commercials and advertisements. It's sound by politics. It makes no difference and these party establishments 
They just control this big flock of the majority who aren't that engaged. It puts the power in the hands of those who have money. Because instead of being able to go and talk with a group of delegates who their charge is to speak with you and determine if you are worthy of representing their party, that doesn't happen anymore. You now have to have tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars to have a media campaign that allows you to get enough votes to make it through to the ballot. My commercials are better, fool. Vote for me. <laughs> should it be money buying influence in Utah or should it be character? The caucus system is the closest thing we can come to actually changing things. For our representatives to be afraid of the people is to have a people that will be more free. Let's make government afraid. Protect the cause. But they never asked, should the government do that? Our government today was really set up to say, hey, there's a limited set of things that the government can do. We put that in a little box and that's all you should be able to touch. And everything else you can't. You can't touch religion. You can't touch speech. Brought to you by Strongbrook. Real estate done for you. Well, I know the guy or the lady who's voted in, and I could put a little pressure. Okay, I've got another quote for you here on it. Let's do that one. Okay. Well, not exactly a quote, but from me. <laughs> Go to your caucus meeting. At least this isn't about Michael Dukakis. It's awesome. The casual voter, as they say, It's actually fun. It's almost like a sporting event. There's politics going on, but it's debate, and you have to speak if you want to be a delegate. It's actually fun. And I won twice, and I loved it. And it was a good experience, and I felt like I made a difference. Representative Republic? A constitutional representative republic in that we choose representatives to represent us will follow representation all the way through to our representatives. You should really learn to like these guys and they know how to talk to the delegates. Okay.